Hello everyone, welcome to another video of Historic Brawl. Today I bring you a white blue commander in the name of Yorion Sky Nomad. This is a bird serpent. Don't ask me why, but it is a bird serpent. So let's take a look at this commander. This is a blue white commander that costs 5 mana and uh, has a stat of 4 power and 5 toughness. And when Yorion Sky Nomad comes into play, exile any number of other non-land permanents you own and control. So you can blink the things that you own and control, and then you return them to the battlefield at the beginning of the next end step. So your enters the battlefield trigger will trigger once again. Very good for things like Saga. A super powerful combo is key to the Akai, which draws you so many free cards. Not really draws you card, but you know, you get the idea, a lot of value. And you know, things that enters the battlefield brings trigger is very powerful. Also good to reset your uh, uh, planeswalker. Yeah. So this has tons of synergy in the whole deck. Your whole deck basically built around casting Yorion. The companion part, you can ignore that lah. So because you cannot really fulfill the com the, the companion condition in uh in historic brawl, you need to play like 120 cards, which is not allowed. So yep. And this is a very cool blue white deck, not like the usual blue white control deck that you play because of the special blink ability. And this is the whole deck. Not going to go through every single card as usual, but you can have a look. I'm going to play a few games with Yorion. You you can be my judge and see how this version of the deck fair. And tweak whatever you think you like. The as usual, the deck list, the link to the deck list can be found in the description box below. Okay, mm, below. All right, I will see you in the games now. Hello, welcome everyone. This hand, I think it's good enough. I'm gonna keep this. So, uh, so I think I need. Don't need to play pa Fable Passage so early. Yeah, I think you just play, just play a plane. Since you got four land, right? The Passage should be able to come to play Untap. Oswald, ah, that's very powerful thing. Opponent can start going off very soon. Need to find like a Wrath of God things like that. Yeah, you can just start. Ramping up. Ah, uh, yeah. This pack seems to be fun, ah. Uh. <sighs> can get like a what? I don't know. <laughs> Key to the archive. Oh, treasure keeper. Yeah. Don't have any things going on really. Can play the restoration of. A ganjo Look for a plane and play the let's play the blast zone. Need to find really need to find a rock of god a sweeper, you know, very very soon. Probably just gonna get a lot of value out of this Oswald. Oh, we found a workshop assistant. It's even better. Is there something that I can untap or ask what? Oh, Executed Lotus. Foundry Inspector. Okay. Okay, la. I think first thing first, we need to stop Oswald. Don't know how I can accomplish that golden egg, ah. Yeah, I mean, let's, let's put the golden egg into play for free. To draw a Wrath of God. Not a Wrath of God. I, uh, it's not a Wrath of God. I mean, I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm just going to do this. Lah. And bling this and this. Ah, no need the Cold Steel Heart. So we get to find a land and draw an additional card. Let's find a land first, thin our deck a little bit. I know we need to discard something, but it's fine. 
Huh? Herald of Vengeance. It's not going to be so great here. I don't think we are going to die by damage. Yeah, Paradox Engine is... I think that's it, lah. That is it. I'm not going to concede yet. Just going to watch. Until that I think that I really cannot get out of it. Either Fox, Gilded Lotus. I think that's is it, right? Okay, doesn't have anything. <laughs> Even so, I have no way to. No way to do anything with it. Right, discard the. Discard the plane. Yeah, let's put the plane into play, lah. Gonna play the favor passage. Gonna cast Kiora beats the sea god lah. Beats the sea god. Don't think what else I can do. Oh, I cannot cast. I'm short of one mana. Oh yeah. Uh, in that case. Well then. Let's cast all the things that I can cast lah. Ah, uh, make your foundry inspector smaller. And I'm not going to attack. I'm going to pass. I believe you are going to die this turn. Yes. Uh. Response, you can sack. Ah, uh, he didn't want to sack. Yeah. I know I'm gonna lose, but I want to watch. So you have to suffer this, you have to go through this with me. What is this? Deck of many things. Very cool. Okay, I'm just gonna tap this because I don't want to. Oh, I cannot. I don't want to keep pressing the passing the passing the priority bu button. Let's see. Chaos one. Have a wrath of God. Ephemerate. Eh. Oh, we can just cast out our spell, right? Because of Yeah, you got mana to generate you got ge way to generate four mana and then you can keep casting spell on my deck. Alright, alright, I'm not gonna go through this. It's boring to watch. I'll see you in the next game. Hello everyone, welcome to another round of Yorion the Sky Nomad. Let's take a look at this hand. This looks like a great hand to me. I'm gonna keep this. Oh, I've played against Devrio Soul Broker. One of my favorite mono black commander. It's probably gonna take away my mind stone. If I have to say, if I have to guess. This cannot kill death rail. Okay, so we might fall very I fall behind on death rail. Depends on what choices opponent is uh what offer opponent get from his death rail. If it's the one that reduce casting cost, it'll be very hard for us. I mean death rail is not really the easiest card to play, you know. A lot of the time you have to pay for the death rail's condition and sometimes it might just kill you also if you are not careful so we got three you got two three four you know it's not a bad curve you know all this all this synergize with yorion dungeon guys can be good can be good although this tree might oh that is a much better tree than four of lock conda Okay, can play the Ephraim. I mean, yeah, I mean, be my guest. See what he gets. Draw three cards. Anything but the reduced mana cost one should be should be able to manage. Okay, yeah, I mean, he got the reduced mana cost one, and when he draws a card, he exiles the top two from his deck. I'm gonna cast Spellbinder. 
at the removal spell. All right. <laughs> okay, I was going to say get the only removal spell in his hand and then attack death rail. Don't know why he considered that, but anyway, let's go to the next round. Hello, everyone. Mm, this hand. <sighs> don't have blue. Ah. Don't think we can keep this. Ah. It's also a bit short of land, so still gonna gonna mulligan. This one. Yeah, this can be good. Confounding conundrum might be good against green deck, you know. It's good against green deck. What is this? Discover the formula. Seek three non-land cards and they cost one less to cast. Okay. Oh no no, not they. The cards in my hand cost one less to cast. Okay, I'm gonna play Ganjo. And play Confounding Conundrum. So in case anybody who doesn't recognize this card is uh, when a land enters an opponent control, if the opponent had if the player have another land enters a battlefield. So they need to return the land to their hand. That means they cannot ram more than one. They cannot ram, you know. Okay, we're gonna play the Terrible Inspector. And pass the turn. Very likely you're going to draw a card from this. Next turn, he drawn a Kaif. Take the two. Okay, so I'm gonna draw a card. Oh, Barry and Toilet Toilet Arch Archmage is not bad. They can search for planes. They can search for planes. I think it's either I play that or I play Hedron Archive. If I play Hedron Archive next turn. I don't have anything to bring back, right? We okay, never mind. I'm gonna play this. Find a plane, and I'm gonna block with Thraben Inspector. Probably gonna discard. Yeah, I'm gonna block that. Okay, I'm playing some very interesting card. Uh, can return a creature. Hmm. All right. All right. I don't know why opponent kept conceding to my to my play. I guess I'll we'll see you in the next round. All right, everyone. Let's see. This is not a bad hand to me. Up against who? All glow. They voted assistant. Why is that? At the beginning of up, can look at the top two cards of the library. Then put our name into a graveyard. When a creature is put into a graveyard from your library or hand. It gains when they leaves your grief a tap to do black zombie creature token. Whoa, wow, interesting cut. Interesting cut. Looks like we need some sweeper, you know. But then can generate a lot of creature in very quickly. Oh, restoration. I'm gonna play this. See how we get. Elash like hypnotic sprite. Oh, we can also cast the Mesmeric Glare. Cool, cool, cool. So opponent, if this guy is exiled from the graveyard, right, you can create a tap 2-2 two, two black zombie creature token. Hmm, okay. This is also very good. So I'm going to cast one of these. Probably not this. Probably Restoration. Of Aganjo. If it allows me to... to if it allows you to restore. Okay. Memory lapse, ah. Okay, Heaven of Vengeance could be could be good, could be good, you know. Not going to attack. Yeah, this card is interesting. So this leaves okay. Holding up. Holding up a lot of the I'll play key to the archive la. It's the same. This is more mana efficient. Mm, yep, yep, yep. Go ahead, go ahead. Feels like we need Herald of Vengeance to resolve this game in order to 
to win. He discarded key to the Akai. So he wants to hold our mana next turn, I, I think. So if you draw a land, now we don't have to draw a land. Cannot double spell no matter how, I think. Ah, we can, we can. We need to draw a land to double spell. Okay, we, do, we did draw a land. We'll play that letter of acceptance. Uh, this destroy mana value 4 of greater, right? Yeah, I'm not gonna hold up the mesmeric glare. Like, I think it's just don't even know what he has. Yeah, yeah, and just counter all my all my shit. <laughs> Next turn, don't want to cast all the ganjo. It looks stupid. Yoria is not really doing a lot. Also, what is this? Ah, oh, when it and eternalize, you can. I see. Holding a mana once again. Uh, in that case, I'm gonna play Golden Egg lah. We draw a land. Okay, I will hold up Hypnotic Sprite. Oh, well, I'm, I'm not gonna. I'm gonna play this card instead. Of holding up Mesmeric Glare. It's gonna counter it. This side is full of counter, huh? We borrow in play. Counter becomes very powerful. You can seek a four mana card. Very good. This time might as well be a borrow deck. Okay, and he can refill. Refill his hand next turn. Ah, okay. I see, I see. I mean... Feels like we need to cast Herald of Vengeance. And hope it resolves. It doesn't. Could be in a big trouble. Ah. Yeah, I mean, we take lah. Because Herald of Vengeance actually requires a creature to damage you. Just to draw some cards. Mm, okay, got a Tufnet Kefnet. It's a good target for the four lock Honda. Got that. I'm gonna play the Major's Attendant. Potent seems to have run out of counter spell, which is good. Which is good. Which is good. So he's not going to attack I think. If he do, if he does, I'm gonna block. Then next turn. Yeah, it's not stop attacking. Charming priest is good, huh? Can charming priest and get a clone crafter? Yep, let's do that. Clone, clone away the clone crafter. Yes. I don't know if opponent remember that we have a major's token. Because we can counter opponent's uh, memory deluge. Yeah, we can counter that for basically free. Can't pay one. Yep, I think he forgot that. Whoa, my flare! Nice. So we can cast uh, this. Then we can cast Yorion. Yeah, or we can cast my flare. My turn. Cast my flayer la. Get your eternal. 
All right, then we pass. Cool, cool, cool. What is yours is now mine. You can also cast, you can also eternalize this. So uh, this <laughs> Orgo has triggered exactly zero time. I don't know. I mean the, the, the zombie making. Uh, okay. Okay. Gonna. Yeah, I'm gonna play this. I'm gonna. So I need to. Okay. I'm gonna play Yorion. Being a couple thing, this and this. And this and this and this actually everything, yeah. Huh? Okay, we got some stuff, some triggers back. Exile, <coughs> exile the, exile Yorion, I think. So we can take away the God Eternal Cavnet. Gonna put it on top once again. Okay. Decline. Oh, oh, oh brazen borrow. Nice. <laughs> oh damn. You're on that is so sick. I also got a counter magic in hand. What is this? Lantern barrel. Okay, you can disturb it. To make a tap to to token. Next turn, the second saga, I'm going to get back the Mind Flayer. Hmm, okay. So if we turn it to my hand, I'm going to counter it. Lah. It's only counter 3 or less, right? Yeah. Okay. Oh, land. <laughs> Funny. You can cast Herod. <sighs> Destroy all my things. Ah, let's cast Herod. Lah. And cast Clone Crafter. <laughs> I see you in the next round. Hello everyone. This hand, couple of count, a couple of. There's a counter spell here. Up against Jackmir. Eh, miscast not really a good card against Jackmir. Think we need to mulligan this. It's a bit slow. Uh. I think I think it's keep bubble hand. Since we've got it, hopefully you can draw into a third land or the spell to cast. Ho oh, ho! Oh, opponent got a fast start. Okay, good to draw a, a land. A land or a three drop. Mm, blast zone. Blast zone can be good if opponent play like a one more one drop. Ah, not not that one. That is a two drop. So you can cast Jet Mirror next time, next turn. Ah, yeah, it's a bit slow, huh? Gonna pass the turn. Next turn, can cast. Uh, I think I'm gonna set Golden Egg. Yeah, so can, I can have, I can return a, oh no, it's rich, creature count, yeah. Okay, creature count, that means not doing too much then. So next turn, what do I do? Not really sure what should I do, eh. 
can play Tesha, but it's so weak. I think I'm gonna play Basri Lieutenant. Ah, uh. yeah, midnight clock. This last turn will be much better. Yeah. Can cut blast zone. I think no lah. I think you should play it. But really tenant. This can block snow cover mountain, jet mirror. And he dies also comes with something. Leaf play or dice? Dice, okay. So bling will not do anything on this. Probably gonna keep up. Keep up essence flux. Okay, Trostani. Trostani is good. Cloud shift is, can also be good also. This costs how much? Oh, this is not legendary, okay. Don't want to cast Yorion. Okay. Hmm. I think we need to play this. Play Tesha. Sorry, doing a lot uh, playing Tesha. Hmm. Don't know leh. Tesha la, I think creature is a creature la. I'm gonna block that one. Block, attack that. You can block, block. Uh, yeah, should I, should I attack first? Probably. Yeah, never mind. Bon is uh, a bit low on land, but that means all his card is spell. He cannot. He can cast Jack Mir if he wants. If he does that, I need to draw like a <laughs> sweeper. Yeah. Cannot really attack, right? I see. Gonna block that. Block that. You draw a sweeper of some kind. Okay, that looks like a sweeper to me. Will I die next turn? I'm gonna attack with Basley Lieutenant. Don't think he will block. This potential of multicolored creature. And now I play Time Wipe la. Okay, this should slow down opponent by a little bit. Then next time we can play Basri Lieutenant. You can play me not quite in Basri Lieutenant. I don't think I want to do that. I want to keep out. I pass the turn. Can play Jet Mirror if you draw a land. Then I can trade with War Leader. Okay. What is this? Oh, I see. I see, I see. So I need another sweeper. I'm gonna block that lah, what can I do? Hmm, yeah. Clock 
skin sear draw a card la. harmonious acorn yeah don't think we can win I don't even know if we can survive this turn because Jackmere, I think Jackmere will give plus 2 plus 0 trample and vigilance yeah because if you attack you have 7 creatures including Jackmere then we just die I mean he didn't yeah I mean he calculated that don't, yep yep one sweeper is not enough against Jackmere gonna take everything let's see how much 17 overshot all right i'll see you in the next game hello everyone so this hand might be a bit slow might be a bit slow but i think it's still gonna be a keep lah because yoran cost five ah, so it really uh, rely a lot on your opening hand for yoran to have any effect uh, Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, lah, I'm gonna keep this lah. I think I shouldn't, uh, but uh, I don't know. Le. Yeah, I mean, we can take my Cloud Skin, Cloud Skin Seer, Inspiring Overseer, it's the same. They are the same thing. Yeah, well, that means I'm glad that I keep this nightclub bouncer then. Play the planes and pass the turn. This blinks permanent. Okay, cool, cool. I think because you're only playing two colors, so like I know this is a good color, but you know you don't, you don't usually see this card play in non black blue deck, huh? Uh, key to the Kai is very nice as well. I think I'm gonna play this inspiring overseer. I think doesn't really matter. Next time I can play key to the archive. Not gonna bounce the asteris la. Can give you two land. Oh I take a midnight clock. There's too many land in hand. Definitely protection. Okay, I'm just gonna play key to the archive. Uh. Ramp out a bit. Tomb Blade is useless. Yeah. I'm learning Helix. Uh. I mean, this, this card, what? I think this card is definitely protection. Attack you for two. Next turn, we draw a land, we can cast Yorion. If I don't draw a land, we can cast Woman of the Sea, Cloud Skins here, you know, a lot of possibility. So we got Lightning Helix if we need to destroy something, like Planeswalkers. Just gonna cast Midnight Clock. Not gonna, I'm not gonna cast Yorion. So herder can be good. I cast so herder first. Cast club in here. We draw land. Did not draw land. Blink Cloud King Skier. Take action, yes. Alright, you got some value out of the Soul Herder trigger. But I'll probably have a sweeper or some sort. Uh, uh, can, we draw, can we just draw land, please? Sell mana. Shodred, Jinkitaxia. You know, all these are possibilities. T 
Chief of Sanity, okay. Drawing a land would be very, very nice. Thank you. I'm gonna bounce that to their hand. He's countering this. I was gonna kill the Chief of Sanity. I feel like he's got a counter. La. Yes, I know he has a counter. That's gonna kill the tip of sanity. So I think I still cast a bunch of cards. Or if opponent cast a creature, I can cast time ah uh, okay. I see, I see. Like a combo. Combo what? Time warp. Ah I see. So cool. So cool. Midnight clock is also going off very soon. If we cast another creature, I'm probably going to cast Time White. If it doesn't, I'm just going to dump my flying creature. 7 mana Hmm Didn't Probably took a counter spell Probably took a counter spell Miscast, miscast can be can be good. Hi, never draw land. Huh? This cut, this Tefres time to use. Uh, it's not gonna walk into this. Hmm, midnight clock. Is there a way I can get rid of that? Ah, it took Monocious Gearhawk. I see, I see. So I need to cast Time Wipe next turn. Nah. Play the lamb, play Time Wipe. It's a counter spell. Yeah, I'm gonna miscast that. Sorry. Okay, this returns permanent. No, only creature. Set. Gonna, gonna play this la. Need to draw some good cuts. These are not good cuts. Don't want the land. Okay. Opponent can draw seven now, which I can't I can't stop him. Okay, he didn't want to didn't want to do that. Didn't want to do that, huh? Can take key to the Kai, which is not doing anything. Can take Miku Massacre also do not doing anything. Yeah, I can wait for next turn. Huh? Can wait for next turn. Ah, he's doing it now. Okay, can we get find a way to kill? You can find a way to kill midnight clock. Tasha can bring back only creature, right? I think Tasha is the one that gives us the most value. Uh, maybe you should bring it back the other one. Chromatic Lantern. Draw a card. Play Chromatic Lantern. Got 
Gain some light. Okay, I'm gonna play Inspector. Alright, and then we're gonna pass the turn. I mean, opponent draws 7, I know, but we're also drawing a bunch of cards. So, drawing a bunch. If it's a, a Massacre Worm, I mean, we, we instantly die. Lah. <laughs> Anything other than that, you can have some. Okay, nothing else to bring back now. We have Exclusion Mage to bring back. After drawing 7, he's still drawing. Still want to draw more cards. Okay. Yeah, all this powerful blue spell, I can't really, can't really do anything about that. Yeah, I'm just going to cast that. Lah. It's not going to resolve, isn't it? <laughs> Alright, we fought hard. That's too much for us. I'm not going to go and discard face. I'm going to concede now and go move on to the next game. Alright, everyone. So this hand is a bit slow. Hmm, but I think we can keep lah. I spent Congo there is quite good against this VZ lah. Against a slow deck, we can play slow hand. Yuna is powerful, but you know, it requires quite a few setup lah to get good value of it. Play the blue sauce. So uh, yeah, Yoran is good against creature deck, even though we lost to Jet Mirror, but I think Yoran is good against creature deck. If Obon is playing control deck, uh, Yoran might just feel a bit too slow. Not too slow, like not enough. Because you play cards like Time White but uh, Invoke the Bins. Uh. If opponent is like Nif Mizek, Nif Mizek control deck, uh, it'll be very hard. Okay. Then you can play time wipe lah. You can play time wipe next turn. This only deal opponent opponent, okay. You can play free hero dominaria next turn. You can try to kill it. Ali roll. Yeah, I'm gonna play that lah. Don't feel like playing time wipe. And I know it will get counter. And we have as well conquers that to bring back Teferi also. So I think it's fine. It's not easy playing against blue deck. Looking at the color, why? Oh, doesn't really matter lah. We have chromatic lantern. We play. Yeah, <laughs> it's actually better for me. I don't have to pay life. There's one mana up. We do it now. I know he has two mana up after looking for land. Maybe he need double rate. Ah, huh? gonna fix his own mana. I think that's the aspect I don't like Fear of Rune is like the fixing your own mana I don't think that's the intended use of uh, can play a spell Conquest Death a spell after Conquest Death la. yeah put on counter magic I know <laughs> gonna keep the tongue wipe last possible option oh all right that's that's not bad you eat your gutter snipe next turn opponent's spell will cost two more non creature that is can cast yorion Bling the uh, spell conquers death. If opponent play like a three cost, oh no, this is not a three cost. So 
So I think the best we can do is Ali Rios. Yeah, play Ali Rios. Play a lane and play Ali Rios. Can control opponents Nif Mizet. I don't think he's going to cast that lah. Brazen, oh, I can't cast Brazen Borrow. You want to beat down me? Yeah, I think he wants to beat me down. Don't really want to bounce Brazen Borrow, eh? Tall brand. <laughs> Very cute. Three. Oh, then the loyalty. Yeah, uh, draw a card. Put on some response, ah. Uh. Hmm. Play a land. Yeah, I think time warp is still the best response. Turn it to my hand. Alright. And tap fell and island. Not that I have anything to cast la. You can activate the Hall of Storm Giant and trade for my 3 2. Ah, Kyora best the Sea God. Beats the Sea God. Okay, this control artifact and enchantment. Okay, okay. This can bounce creature and enchantment of planeswalker. Okay, okay, okay. Can can tap what? Okay, so I'm gonna draw a card with Teferi first. Lah, see what we get. Omen of the Sea, mm, not bad, not bad. Let's see how we get an Omen of the Sea. Icon, Acon. Yeah, I don't mind an Acon actually. Let's play a Harmonious Acon. Then I'm gonna pass the turn. No, no attack. Yes, attack. Yes, attack. And the turn. Dispel an island. Yep. This costs how much? This is not a legendary. This is a legendary. Each legendary creature you control. I only got one legendary creature. This is a legendary, no. So it costs three. That means I cannot cast this. He can kill my Tefri if he wants, you know. But he might want to gain control of it. Mm. Oh. Decided to cast Nif Mizek instead and kill me. Okay, that's that's a bit strange, huh? So you can you can tuck this away. You can tuck that away. I'm gonna play the land for sure. Going to. Control of Nif Mizet lah. Okay, that means I need to I need to tuck this away. If not, he gain control back Nif Mizet, I will die. I think. Let's play this soul herder. Bling the harmonious acorn. 
です。But I need to cast a sweeper. Mm, okay. And it's very likely to die next turn, I think, because a lot of power on, on the bot. Ah, Storm Queen Artist. Cannot attack this turn. If you attack everything, he block the two largest, he still dies, right? Doesn't it? Play the land, gonna tuck away that 4-3. And just gonna attack everything. 12-15, 9-9. Short of 2 damage. He has to block, but it's still short of 2 damage. Oh, shop. Shop one damage. Uh, in that case, can cast Yorion. Yeah, I mean, let's cast Yorion then. Bring Acorn, bring Aliros, bring Omen, bling, bling, and what else? So, Herder? No. Let's bring those five. La. Oh, probably should have bling it earlier. I don't know. Gonna keep out the bouncing thing. Bring a creature I control. Ah, let's bring, let's bring Yorion. Ah. Mm. Don't need, don't want any of this. I've got a counter spell. Would be nice. All right, that is the most epic Yorion game I played for you so far. I hope you like it fun when your own works all right and that's all for this video i will see you in the next one bye bye